Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Imagine Coaching and today we're going to have a look at the accessibility checker in PowerPoint. So here's a few slides that I have created earlier just to give you a bit of a demonstration. And to see the accessibility checker, we need to click on the review tab. If we click on the review tab here, over to the left hand side, we've got accessibility checker. And a couple of options under the drop down menu. Firstly, we have check accessibility. Then we've got alt text because that's a common error and reading order pane. So I'm going to click on check accessibility. And what you'll see now is I have a new tab, accessibility tab that's opened with this new ribbon. And I also have the accessibility sidebar here. OK. Now, I'm not actually going to go through everything in this short demo, but it's just to make you aware of what options are available. So on the ribbon, we have a colour and contrast section. So basically, this is going to highlight any text that is hard to read with the contrast. Next, we have screen reader. So this is going to point out anywhere where I have a slide title missing. OK, because if somebody's using an immersive reader and their technology is reading the slide out to them, they won't know the topic if there's no uh, slide title. The next is the reading order pane. Let's just go to this slide and I'll explain what this means. So the reading order pane is the order in which the immersive reader will read sections of the slide out. So in this particular slide, now these are images, but it, it would also read out the description of those. I would want this to go down in columns. So I'd want the immersive reader to say there's a picture of coins, then it says annual revenue, then it says 100,000 euro, and then it has turnover. And to go down in columns. So I can specify how it's read out because what might happen if I don't do that is it might read out the icons first, then the headings, annual revenue, customers, growth, Google search, and it won't make any, uh, it won't make sense because they need to go down in, in orders, in the column order. Next here, we've got alt text. So that is for our images. So if we have an image that's really important for the slide, we can specify the text that's going to appear there so that that text is read out for somebody that can't see the image. And so, th so this, the screen reader section is more for when we're sending our slides around after a presentation. Then the next section is the captions and subtitles. And this section is for when we're actually presenting because we can have live captions to be on our slides when we're actually presenting. And then you'll see on the accessibility sidebar here, we have an errors section. So it's telling me that I've got missing alt text, 16 missing alt texts. I've got five missing slide titles. And then warnings, I have got hard to read text contrast. So it means that the text color and the text background make it difficult to read. And then we've got check the reading order. So this is the, the bit that I was talking about here, the, the reading order pane. And then we've also got some suggested alt texts that it's given to us. And you'll notice here as well, we have an option to keep the accessibility checking checker running whilst working. So that's a real brief overview of the accessibility checker and what it can do. And I will go into some more detail on later videos. So I hope you found that very short demo useful. Please connect with me on LinkedIn if you'd like to see more videos. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.